So, I am a lover of tattoos. I want quite a few tattoos. I have an entire list on my iPod of the tattoos I want. Now, I'm not going to directly read off of this, but some of them will require me setting this to make sure I got where I want it and whatnot correct. Completely. So, I've been gathering this list of the different tattoos, ideas, and whatnot that I want for many, many, many years. <laughs> Because I'm one of those people who believes you should wait at least a year after coming up with an idea to tattoo. Revisit that idea and see if you still like it. Because chances are, if one year has gone by and you don't like it anymore, you would not have got liked it. You should like it for at least one year if you're going to get it. So, these are the tattoo ideas that I have. Okay. I want a bat with crescent moons underneath their wings. With feathers and strings dangling off the tips of the crescent moons, and then a full moon cupped in the bat's ears. And I want one of these on each of my butt cheeks. And then on my right thigh, yeah it says right thigh, I want a mermaid that, with its tail that's split in half with teeth inside of the tail. And then on her waist will be a black spiky tutu. And then her ribs will be peeled back revealing an inward spiraling staircase. That, you know, a tail just like goes inward. And their head will be split in half with teeth inside again. And then her eyes will be closed. And then the second mermaid will be upside down in her hair. So her, so there'll be the normal mermaid and then there'll be a head upside down on top of her head. So like, yeah, you get what I mean. And it'll be screaming and decapitated. And then the second body's mermaid's body will be crumpled, as if there was, like, floor here and the body's crumpled on there, normal way. And then there'll be, like, a human standing on top of the floor that's, like, underneath. <laughs> and he'll have no face with a death hawk, long claws, his hands will be on his face with the claws wrapping around his head. I realize this is an extensively complicated tattoo that might not ever be possible. But if I find a really skilled tattoo artist, I'll probably get it done. And then on my shoulder, either shoulder or both, I just want a simple spider web. <laughs> and then on my hands, I want a tiny little bat right in there where your finger closes up. I want a little tiny bat there. And then I want like fangs or like a bleeding puncture mark on the bottom of my foot. <laughs> You know, on my sole of my foot. And then I want a tribal cobra on my left ankle. And then on my right ankle, I want a tribal phoenix. And then on the back of my chip surface. Oh, I don't even have where I want this one put. Okay. I'll, I want the phrase, I'll be here, but I'll be motionless, written in words, like on scratchy wood. In that sort of font. And then on one of my hips, I didn't specify what one, I want a gnarled tree. And then on my ribs, collarbone, you know, the bone that's right here. And then my spine, I want it all done to look like my skeleton is completely showing, like there's no flesh there at all. In both the front and the back. But then I want it to look like there's a little bit of flesh hanging on the back of my back. <laughs> with feathered wings attached. And then on my left arm, I want a fox with a pentagram and its chest fur. This one I actually have drawn out, but again, I can't find my drawing book. So it's in my drawing book. I have it completely drawn out. I just don't have my drawing book. Pity. <laughs> and then this one's like a possible one I might get, not 100 percent sure, but an eyeball on my tongue. Ah. And then on both of my arms, like this entire surface here, I want a moth in a cocoon, coming out of its cocoon, and completely out of its cocoon. And they have to be identical on both sides, so I need someone who can do that. <laughs> and then behind each of my ears, I want a cat silhouette done. And then on my palms and fingers, I want a circle in the center of my hand, with lines going up to the tips of my fingers, with circles there. And then, as you know, I have a pet tarantula. I want her on my stomach, eating a cricket out of my belly button. <sighs> ah, this is the one I want on the back of my neck. On the back of my neck, I want the words, Friends don't let friends drink friends. 
And then this one, oh, right arm. So apparently on my right arm, I want a moth bat hybrid pinup. This should not be too surprising <laughs> for anyone who read my furry video. And the last idea I have on here, which is a may maybe one, which is going to be the back of my lower left leg, so down here. <laughs> I want a sugar skull violently puking up candy skulls. And the some will be normal, some will be melting, some will be ripped apart, and some will be bubbling. These are the candy skulls, they'll be bubbling and ripped up and, you know. And then I want a leech coming out of each eye of the sugar skull. So yeah, those are the tattoos I want. I want a lot of them. <laughs>